Hello everyone, this is Jerome Harden Studios right here. If you or you know someone that wants to be in my newscast, narrate, or do that other stuff, or they have a Facebook page, or a web page, or website they want to represent to Jerome Harden Studios website, please have j number, or contact j Dog at 256-682-0620, or if you want to be in the newscast, we'll put you on the show, or if you want to be on the website, we'll do that too. Or that other stuff we can do for you. So, if you dial that number, or if you want to make your dream come true, let us know. Alright, thank you. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest of my newscast I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up, I'm JR right now. Um, what's up, I'm JR. I'm sorry, people. You know, excuse my language. Let me start over. <laughs> what's up, I'm JR. You chillin' alright, let's get started. Okay, that's better. I just finished, got some gas. Now, um, this is a very serious time right now, folks. Do you know the government shut down this morning at 12 o'clock a.m.? I mean, not it not at, at this time, on the Eastern Time. Uh, I think it's 11 something in the Eastern Time and 10 some over here. So, yeah, let's go with that. But right now, I'm going to talk to you about a very serious time. I mean, do you know what the government shutdown has caused? I mean, come people is going to complain about it. I mean, they talking about they having to pay for regular education. I don't know how that's going to work out. And, you know, there are a lot of federal workers that are going to be laid off temporarily. You know what that means? Lots of people are going to be losing their jobs. Big time. I mean, they support their families off of that. I mean, I hate to be in that family right now. I hate to be in their situations right now. You know what that means? They went from making loads of wads of money to having nothing at all. Even... Those quarter of those workers that are working for the government are working for free right now. And they're wasting all their gas and still have no money. I mean, what is going on with America, for real? I mean, at least the military people that are serving our country right now, that are, they are fighting for us right now, oh yeah, they're still getting paid no matter what, regardless. So I would like to send a shout out to those people who are serving, even my friends. The friends that I went to high school with, that are being in the military right now, I give a shout out to them also. Feel y'all on that one. Y'all are lucky on that one. But if you work in a restaurant, fast food, bartending, or some of that stuff, well, guess what? You remember what happened last year when the economy went bad? And back in 2011 when teenagers, just like me or people, can't find a job? Well, to tell you the truth, I would like to tell you this. In case that happens, those federal workers or professional workers that got laid out because of the government shutdown, they may come into your restaurant and they take your job, so you might be on your toes for that. So just keep a lookout for it because you never know what's going to happen. You might get laid off. You might get fired. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. But true thing is that uh, maybe you're just helping someone out and then you sacrifice your job for somebody else. I mean, you know. Of course, you wish you could keep your job at the restaurant to keep making money and make ends meet, but everybody has needs too. I mean, people lost their jobs. And what is else to store for them? Maybe they get lucky. I mean, I'm sure fast food is in high demand right now, I believe. Without the government, I believe all hell will break loose. Everything will go crazy. Does it mean more robberies? Does it mean people are getting raped more often? Does it mean people will be fighting in the streets? Does it mean uh, more car accidents? I mean, of course, uh, all other officials will still be around. Banks will be operating. Police will still be around. Roads will still be around. Offices will still be open. National parks are closed. So, yeah, but uh, I think tuitions are affected. So, you know, mails aren't met. The uh, U.S. Postal Service is not affected either. They'll still be working and get paid regardless. Taxes will still be operating. 
Social Security will still be operating. I mean, uh, all this is happening right now because Obama is trying to promote Obamacare, but it fell in several states. And because of that, uh, the, the Senate or the legislators or whatever couldn't make an agreement on one stupid bill. I mean, what the fuck is that? I mean, they're just a bunch of uh, government people acting like little babies, by God. <sighs> yeah. I mean, our government is turning upside down, folks. I mean, you know, I don't know what our next president is going to be. You'll never know when you have the worst president of all time. You'll never know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. You never know what unexpected shit is going to happen. For real, unexpected shit is not, I mean, unexpected shit has always happened a lot. I mean, crazy stuff has happened in 2013. The Boston bombings. Woman sentenced to 20 years in prison because she fired a warning shot against her abusive husband. Casey Anthony goes free because she killed her child. Now I hear another mother gave birth in a bathroom to a baby. She threw it in the trash can like it's nothing. And now she goes free. And then uh, Trayvon Martin got shot and George Zimmerman is free also. And millions of people in Florida crying for him. Not George Zimmerman, but Trayvon Martin. He's dead. And he also black and George Zimmerman's white. I mean, what's supposed to going to happen next? I mean, something's going huge going to blow up and leave a huge crater in the center of the earth. Or in the edge of the earth that uh, every other life form can see it. Is that what's going to happen next? I don't know, but uh, we tend to find out. Yes. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention one more crazy thing. And that woman shaking her bra for the police to make sure she got drugs and everything. And then she started crying for real. But the next thing, a officer pulls over a female... A female officer will be checking. So, let's say so right there. But, I'm not going to talk about women no more. I'm done with that already, alright? Just get mad all you want. I mean, I'm not. I'm done talking about women. Because I said my uh, opinion. And I said my facts, okay? So, I'm going to leave the subject alone. Okay? Well, um, I'm about to get home. I'm about to get out of here. That's all I'm going to talk about today. But, you know, one last time for you restaurant workers and going to college. If you live off the money right now to support your uh, living or pay all the, your bills and stuff or working two jobs, just keep in mind that some of those workers that got laid off may come to your restaurant and take your job or you get your hours cut back because they hire too many of them federal workers anyway. So you might keep a lookout for that because, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Just like uh, when the comedy goes bad, the teenagers can't find jobs. So the old, old ass people took them teenagers jobs. So keep that in mind. All right, all right. Until next time, I'm J Dog. I'm out. Peace. Mike Wilmer.